Welcome! This week we are beginning our summer series and it is called Old Testament Explorers. Genesis. And we're going to be learning all about the very beginning of the Bible. The very beginning of the world. And I am so excited about this series for a couple of reasons. And one of them is that because this is our summer series, we're going to really go big. There's going to be some extra stuff going on with this series. And part of that is that we are going to have activity kits for you. So stay tuned. I'm going to share more about that in the next week, okay? And we're going to have these special kits that you can use to really deep dive into these stories. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is that a lot of the time, explorers, people who are going and seeing the world, they don't do it by themselves. Often, they have a crew. And so just like those explorers, I have a crew here at OTCC of people who are going to be helping me with this summer series. And so you'll still be seeing me for the next few weeks, but then after that, we have a bunch of people from my OTCC crew, our OTCC crew, who are going to be guest hosting children's messages. So you'll get a little break from seeing my face every week, and you're going to see the faces of others we know and love in our OTCC family. So I hope you're excited for that. Whew, that's a lot of cool stuff about this series, but what about this week's lesson? We are starting at the very beginning this week with the creation story, the story of God creating the world. And so I brought just a little bit of creation here with me. A few of my plant friends, a couple of these cacti and, and, and these other guys, because they are little examples of God's creation, little examples of God's creation plants that I bring into our house and they bring me joy. But creation is obviously so much more than these one, two, three, four, five plants. And creation is so special. It is God making things and saying, hey, that's really good. And so I also brought with me um, this piece of bread. And so this week, I had a chance to make some bread. And I'm going to put a picture of it up so you can see. It's a brioche bread. And I am not a professional baker, but I do enjoy baking. I some, you know, when I have a, a, a little bit of time and maybe some friends to bake for, I enjoy baking. I think it's fun and I love that feeling of creating something. And I also love when I bring a baked good to a group of friends or to a family event and people go, wow, that is good. Or sometimes I'm not even sharing whatever I made. Maybe it's just staying at our house. And I finish it, I take it out of the oven and I go, hey, that looks good. And in our creation story, God, the creator, is creating and he's saying that is good. And as people, we are made in the image of God. We are made like God. And we too can create, not on the scale that God does, right? Like I can't create the world. I hope you knew that already. But when I create something, I feel pride in my work. I feel this good sense of, wow, I made this. I did something and I can share it. And so when God created the world, it wasn't that different. He said, wow, this is good. And I want to share it. And so he created plants and animals and people with whom to share all that was good. And so I'm not going to go further into that story today, but I do hope you'll check out our Kids at Home lesson this week, okay? Check out our Kids at Home lesson. And really, I am so excited as we begin our Old Testament Explorer series for you to join us on this adventure. That's it from me. I think I have some more looking out to do. So I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.